This episode of Pod Fiction is brought to you by Limitless Pawn, Sudbury's friendliest pawn shop. Why not stop in and say hello at 1142 LaSalle Boulevard in the city of Greater Sudbury. Now back to our regularly scheduled episode. Pod Fiction here. Man's not hot. Brrr, another episode of Cuphead. Yeah. Skid a bit pop pop. Brrr, raw sauce. Just cups. <laughs> Just. I said, I said, mug man not hot. Don't take sweater off. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, are you? I, I was holding my shirt and I flicked it into my throat. <laughs> it's really scary. Sounds like everybody that's watching. Like, okay, we're done. Now we, we we can go here now. Man's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we just watched that video, so... Again, <laughs> we watched a meme about it. Shoot listen, 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 listen to this song, everybody. I'm Mr. King Dice. I'm the gamest in the line. It's actually a really cool song. Um, but yeah, so that we, but we couldn't like go to the next world until we talked to him. Uh, Alright, give me your best accent. Best 30s accent. Wow, I ain't that a pimp. That was what the 30s sound like, huh? Pretty Looks cool. like your boys really need to put the kibosh on them dip doors. <laughs> you can't head on over to the next aisle. Put it more bark. You lean on here, folks. Oh, he's gone. Holy shit, where'd he go? Hello? Hello? Hey, hey, hey. 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 It's, yeah. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> he's got Uncle this. Oh, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> we just hit the freaking fries off my head. <laughs> Guys, hang on. This stars are caught up with you. I believe I've found a way out of this mess you're in. Hot dog, you have. <laughs> <laughs> Your strength is growing. You'll soon fuck that King Dyson is plump. <laughs> no fooling. <laughs> Brandon's, Brandon's version of this game. <laughs> I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you've already have all those sold contracts in hand. Only then will you have the chance to turn the table. Shut, shut the fuck up. Already, this man never shuts up. <laughs> Dude, we have twenty-four hours. You're killing time here. Skinny beat pop 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 bang. Don't know. Not hot. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. So I thought the, the, re- the remake movie was going to be like um, like a joke. It, but it's, it's a it's remake. Not, or it's, it's, it's not, not really. It's a documentary, basically. Yeah. Like, it's a movie about them making the movie. All right, we're going to go here. This is the first the one. The Pyramid of Peril. Welcome to Jimmy Jam's Jommy Jim. Push, push me. Regular. That's the, 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 that's the way you do. Oh, I got a burp. Uh, that's what you gotta do it. Weird, I had to burp too. Weird. Burp buddies. What's your favorite older movie? Like as far back as you can the think The oldest of. movie that I can think of that I really, really enjoy is It's a I Wonderful know. Life. I watched it better. Clarence! Was it? Clarence! I can, I can, I can hear it again, Clarence! Clarence, I wanna live again! That's what it is, I wanna live again. I love that movie. I wanna live again! I guess just, they do a pretty good, what is it, Humphrey Bogart? You don't do it, Humphrey Bogart. I do, I just can't do it right now. It's because everyone's watching. Fire, fire. Yeah. We just beat the first section, so you gotta shoot his face once here. Pay attention. The ones okay. that look like his face. Okay. And watch out for these little axes that are gonna come and try and hit you. Okay. But this just sucks. Rocks, it just rocks. Fire. It's gonna be pop, pick, pop, oh, little ground. So this is actually, oh, oh, oh. Okay. You took a lot of hits, I guess. I want to go after the second head. I thought I did that was my uh bit pop pick pop ping. So in this one, I don't know if you remember we can do the bomb thing, like once you get all five uh flimmy clams and then you can do it. But what's your favorite oldest movie? I also sorry, I also really like Gone with the Wind. It's a good movie. Uh, nothing that far back. Way to just fucking shit the bed right away. Honestly, I've never really watched too many like fifties movies. There was a book or like sixties movies or not even that many 70s movies, to be honest. When I, when I used to work at Chapters, there was a book that was 500, movie, 500 movies you must watch before you die. Uh, and I always wanted to, like, buy that book and see what movies they... That's a lot of movies, 500 movies. Yeah, that's right. But I think it was from all generations. Obviously, of your classics, like Titanic. And... Oh, you can make a little plane. 
Yeah, that's if you hit triangle, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, it helps you avoid damage, but you do less damage when, you, when you're in the little plane mode. I got you. Fuck. Clarence! Yeah, that, that's that, my boy. That was an old family tradition. I think I may have mentioned that during uh, Pod Fitness that we'd like Wait, gather. Yeah, to watch uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, yeah. Clarence, I want to live again. That's my good one. <laughs> you know, hum, hum, he didn't have to do six tries to get it, he was just amazing. I don't know why I'm purposely shitting on your accent. Okay, remember, stay, know, stay cool. low, stay low, so that way, just in case you do get hit, I can save you. Or vice versa, you can save me, right? So. Keep an eye on the eyes! Um, I Fuck, I died, don't get me. That's the oldest one you can think of? Yeah, what, what 79. You've seen a movie earlier than that, must have. 100% vice camera. Like, okay. This will get ready in a second. He's, he's, oh, oh, okay. Pause it? Yep. He's dead. He's gonna go dance. I gotta go. I gotta go pay a parking ticket. What? <laughs> He's got this. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my favorite. I'm gonna give you my favorite impression of what it's like to be me. I'm not funny. <laughs> Off camera. Earliest movies though. Um, I don't even know movies, man. Movies suck. Movies are stupid. And I think movies are a, a big shenanigan. Everyone's all about that movie life. But I ain't, you know? I ain't having that shit. You don't have to like movies to be a person, you know? You can be your own person. You don't have to let your best friend, who you host a show with, tell you that you're stupid because you don't like movies. Never mind. <laughs> Did I take the last part back? <laughs> you may have heard it. The chick is up. He's here. Yeah, my movie library is like mostly 80s, 90s, and 2000s. <laughs> We're going to right the fuck restart. <laughs> Thank you. We have a chipperoon. The, the time period of my life where I've watched the most movies that held a little significance in the respect of like movies in a specific time would be like the 2000s. Just because there was so much to watch and the, the, there may not have been a good time in movies, you know what I mean? Like, I guess everyone kind of says that. Like, parents and stuff, when they'll be like, this Well, they think, like, the golden age of movies is, like, the, the, like the 60s or the 50s. Man, 60s, you like, know, that's all based on perspective. Exactly. If that's what you think the golden age is, right? then why like, not, right? To me, like, 90s and 2000s movies were fucking dope. Like, I love... I love an 80s horror movie. Yeah, well, th those are... I guess those are... I guess those are okay. If I'm giving my seal of approval... I, I, ooh, okay, I thought you were good. Me too. <laughs> how did how did you make that? Good job, dude. I'm impressed with your skills, because I think you're the best. What do you think is the most unattractive male name? You don't take <laughs> You know, like, all keeps are hot last episode. <laughs> I, that was an example. I, I, I wasn't basing that on actual facts. That was just an example. Um... Bort? Someone Bort! Named Bort? Do you fucking know named Bort? Would you save me? Right. Oh, do I have to know the person named? What? Do like, you Bort? Do you know anybody just, named Bort? <laughs> I'm guaranteed there's somebody named Bort out there. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just a kid crying. <laughs> uh, he just unsubscribed. Because <laughs> we call him ugly. <laughs> no, your name's ugly. Your personality's probably pretty bad, too. Um, I don't fucking know. You? Uh, Jamie. I don't like. Alright, we're, we're restarting. I can't pause it because I saved you, actually. I guess, um, mathematically speaking, the most popular male name would probably yield the most ugly people, right? <laughs> um. Tanner. Tanner. Oh. Big on that. I don't really know any Tanners, but that is a pretty gross name. Also, I've, I've been on record saying this that I think the, the name Tammy is a gross name, and that's my mom's name. Yeah, I. <laughs> Is that your mom? Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Yeah. I, do not, don't get me wrong. Like, I actually know a lot of Tammies, which is kind of unfortunate. Tammies, I think it's just a really used name. Like, See, I don't know a lot, lot of Tammies. I just hate the name. It's just gross. It sounds shitty. Tammy. Tan Dammy, Tammy. Tammy. Then again, like, I kind of... <laughs> then again, boop, pop! I just realized I kind of like this song when I said that. <laughs> um, I like my name for the respect that, like, not a lot of people have my exact name, but it comes with a fucking brace. No one can say it. 
Probably. So many different variations of Brendan, yeah, and Brandon and Brayden Bra- and Brian and Matt. that's not a variation, uh, much to most people. So. But apparently, a lot of people call you Brian, don't they? A lot of people do. Call Shut you your me. fucking mouth. Shut the fuck up, Brian. <laughs> we got past most of this episode. All right, so watch out because his hat's gonna come off. He's gonna follow us. So stay low for this one. And watch out for this thing's gonna start shooting little things at us. Hey, turn into the bomb and hit him. I died. Save me. Save me. Fuck what I said. Save me. How do I do the bomb? Thing you have to push the button. Uh, the other one. The fuck it's B on the controller. Get really close. Get really close. All right, it's gonna do pop, pop, save me. Save me. Save me. You're you. You still have time. It's not too late. <laughs> save me. Serve <laughs> The um. Tanner is a gross name. I know one Tanner. I know one Connor, too, actually. Only I like Connor. One. Connor's a gross name. You know what McGregor. Connor? McGregor! Connor? I guess I guess. I actually know a lot of Connors. Technically, I know two Connors. I don't know McGregor, but I know somebody like I don't know McGregor, but we talk. We, we've talked on occasion. There was actually a small venue I worked at with McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> Not true. Plus, no, everybody totally believed that. Um... But I knew a kid in, in elementary school, and I, you know, you, you know, uh, when you were going to school and you never like really touch base with people like after elementary school. Like, did you? Yeah. Move, you didn't move a lot, right? When you were a kid, like. No. Okay, so I I went to a lot of different schools. So I met a lot of people, obviously. But there's there's some people that like you just like. I wonder what happened to that person? You know, like I never. So you looked them up, and then they I turned ne- out they're a lot better looking than you. Hmm. Well, I just remember that Connor was like a cool kid, but he had warts on his hand, and everyone like made fun of him for it. Oh, it's like he, he can't like change that. You know, like if. Someone's like fat, like I mean, don't make fun of them, but I mean they can still change it. You know what I mean? But like boards and stuff, like you can't fucking change that, and that sucks. What are they, bro? No, no, they were like they were lifers. <laughs> Skinny beat pop pop. This is that. This is that. Honestly, though, making fun of somebody is just wrong in general. It's just it's just a sad sign of a person. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. If you have to make fun of somebody, it's to a make sign about you. Make yourself feel better. Yeah. yeah, it's all about self confidence. You only make fun of somebody because there's obviously issues with yourself that you don't enjoy. I, I've never... I can probably say that Dad. I've never... God damn it. I've, I've, I never really was a bully. I got bullied a little bit when I was a kid. No one really bullied me because I was, I was kind of a loser anyway, so why the fuck would you bully me? But I never, um... Look where I am now, so fuck you guys. <laughs> Down! Oh, I'm dead! I never really got bullied. Mostly because of my size. <laughs> Fat. <laughs> Everyone knows it. And then Frey just shows it. Um, I know, this is the final stage. It's actually pretty easy if you can get past this fucking section. Triangles of death. You made it all the way to the end. So we we did that together. I, did, I carried you most of that. You game. did. You saved me a few times, and that's how you want to justify it. I think we worked together as a team. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, helps me sleep bad night. But don't you think it's weird that their gloves are fucking yellow here? No, I don't care. I really want to do this. I really like the best. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Man, we already beat a boss. I'm so stoked. I was nothing we're gonna. I'm sorry. Ah, over the line. Ow. I know your biceps Ow. are sore. So don't punch my. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you, got, you got last punch. It's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I blocked your punch, so... <laughs> Easy, Jerry D. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically didn't land anyway. Yeah. We're gonna break it down into semantics. Ooh! <laughs> I'm gonna tell Dad. <laughs> fucking better not. <laughs> over here. Roller coaster ride, Dad! Oh, check, check this out. If we go over here, it'll actually tell us how many times we fucking died playing this. Yeah. Well, you punch Put your arm? dick in the water. <laughs> I'm a no lie. 168 times. <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> if you look on a map, this pool's listed in red. <laughs> probably shouldn't go in there. The carnival of kerfuffling. You ain't going there unless you're kerfuffling. So this 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 boss, dude, pay, this one has a lot of shit that happens in it, but it's actually really easy. What do I do? So watch it. He's going like, to scoot us really fast. Jump over him. Thanks for telling me after he hit me. Don't stay on the cart. That's that's where you don't want to be. Is it good to be behind? Nope. It's not good to be behind. You want to make sure that you're you're on the ball with this one. This one this one's a tough one. I'll admit it. Fucking ball shit. Don't worry. We're in the second stage. I didn't take any damage. So he's gonna inflate his head 
and he's gonna shoot some little dogs at us. And watch out, because the train track is gonna light up, and there's gonna be... So prepare yourself for trouble. Make it double. Trouble in uh, Kerfuffling. <laughs> this is Kerfuffle. Still Kerfuffle. Really want to be clear on that Kerfuffle. It's actually, doggy, doggy, dog, dog, it's actually dog. a little behind the scenes. It's kind of a shame because we turn the volume down on the TV so you don't. Hear but everybody else can hear how good the music. The music is. in this game is amazing. The music is what it's really pronounced as. That's how you want to say it. It's music. I I couldn't say it. That's okay. Don't worry. We're still pretty fresh in this. I'll just retry. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, this little card has eyes. That's, that's really and the mouth looks really fun. It's like, I'm fucking pissed! I did it for the love of the game. Burn up, burn up, down. You know who's an artist that I know of but don't know a lot of his music? Who? Meatloaf. Uh, it's so I only know one it's, of his it's songs. It's not like, in, in my general expertise, I don't know. Meatloaf is also the kind of musician that, like, you wouldn't expect to be a musician just based on how he looks. You know what I mean? Why? Fat, and you have a thing with fat people. I do have a thing with you fat really people. You really just want to be. Uh, people shouldn't bully each other. And then Brent's like, you know, Fuck Meat Loaf doesn't, doesn't look like he'd, uh, he'd make music, you know, by the way he looks. No, he would look like a mechanic or someone who's like an auto body guy. Like, he looks like a tradesman, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't look like a musician. Yeah, you look like a dickhead for saying that, you dickhead. That's not a mean thing to say. You know what? People can look, are all shapes and sizes jamming. You know what? And they can be whoever they want to be. Getting a lesson in fucking human etiquette from Mr. Fucking. Mr. Human culture's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. Mr. This planet's dying from us. It is dying from us. God damn it, Michael. Even though I equally died in that. Also, we talked about that on separate shows, so it's gonna be like. Fuck, they're still talking about that? <laughs> I wonder why we're still talking about it. It's weird that we. Talk about that again. Yeah, no, weird. It's just so, it means a lot to us, you know? <laughs> um, fuck human culture at its finest, you swine. Swine dying. Oh my god. I'm losing it. What band do you think is the most overrated band? Most overrated band? Yeah. Fuck. So many bands oh, fall into that category, dude. Oh my fuck. The sure. Beatles. The fucking Beatles, bro. I fucking hate the Beatles, and I'm, I, I like the Beatles. I don't. Just, I, I just find it. I like maybe five songs. I know a band that has like fucking a hundred songs. Don't fucking ever say the Beatles are good band. They're good. They are a good. They are, band. They, are, they are a good band. They're not a great band. They're not well, one. You of them just said. <laughs> you don't listen to yourself talk very I, much, I do said you? It, and then I fucking realized how bad, how much credit I gave them. I don't, I don't like the Beatles at all. I, I enjoy the Beatles. The only no. reason I don't is because I had a big Beatles phase, and I realized quickly how not... You had a Beatles phase? I did. You fucking poser. Fuck you! You're a poser. You're a fucking poser. You're a poser. No, I absolutely was. I, at that point in my life, that's when I was like trying to be cool and fit in with stuff. That was before I realized that nothing matters, and I don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah, about anything. Nothing any... matters in human existence. It's, it's futile. Exactly. It's, it's feudal Japan, more specifically. Um, fuck, I don't jump in the right time. Well, that's how you're getting hit, right? Fuck you. Three times the charm. I, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I gave the Beatles a fair... That was kind of like when Across the Universe came out, and a lot of people... I didn't like that movie. Oh, I didn't watch that movie. You never, you never gave a good... Never, I actually kind of like the movie. I like musicals. Fuck you. I like some music. I, um, but I... I like plays. I enjoy them. I like the theater. In the theater! <laughs> oh, you don't say it all. It's not so fat all. Well, how did this turn to an Asian thing? That was Asian. That's, That's pretty, pretty racist. That sounded pretty Asian to me. No, that was just an accent that Brennan's a piece of shit. It's proven another point that Brennan's not a nice guy. Well, okay, what do you think is the most uh, overrated band that people kind of gaga over? Fucking, um. Nicki Minaj, I think she's a fucking well, that's not useless really, tool. I wouldn't really consider that like a, a, a band. Like, I'm talking about like, like band a band that has like importance. And sorry, like Nikki. they say. <laughs> Are you saying like the person that's like proclaimed like through they put decades of work in and they like are known? People? I don't like I don't like the Rolling Stones. Uh, I don't find they're a good band. I don't like David Bowie. David Bowie. I don't. Uh, like that's David a perfect Bowie. example. Yeah. And I don't know if it's a generational thing. Like maybe the the world was going through a different time and that. But think about it. That was we're, so hold fast. Hold on. Don't touch me. We're restarting. Fuck yeah. Um, at that time. You know, maybe music wasn't where it is today where we have, like, the standards we have. And I'm not saying that David Bowie wasn't influential to other artists. I'm just saying David Bowie is not for me. For sure. I can guarantee that. 
I am not a David Bowie fan. Neither am I. I just can't. It's like, really whiny. Uh, the music is way too interval. His, his voice is just really, really hard. Unless, like, you know what I do enjoy of his music? Some of his choruses are really nice. Like, Star Man Waiting in the Sky. I like that. It sounds really nice when he sings that. But, like, the chorus, like, the verses and stuff are fucking terrible in that song. I'm like, how the fuck is this a song? Other than the. You know what? I can't say a song is good if only the chorus is good. You can like parts of us. You can like a song for anything, but like, quite honestly, you gotta realize when a bad song is a bad song, Ice T. <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't feel like holding a, an influential band or an influential artist uh, high in praise because they've had like a critical acclaim. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, don't get me wrong. There's Green Day albums. One of my favorite, all-time favorite bands is Green Day. Fuck sakes. And I, and there's albums I can't, I won't listen to. Oh, big time. There are any pretty much no dos tres. Not happening for me. Uh, the new one with the fucking stereo on fire. I don't know what it's called. Revolution Radio. I actually haven't listened to it, but uh, I have. It's it's subpar. It's not. It's not. It's not terrible. It's just not good. Honestly, there's even a lot of songs I go back to now that are like some of their famous songs. I'm like, I'm kind of over it. A lot of them are overplayed. That's the thing. That all of the any Green Day songs that you and not you, but like the people like the know, people know that overplayed Green Day songs. So and, time, wake me up when September ends. Yeah, people Over don't know good. Dreams. People don't know good Green Day, which is the the sad part. Like the thing is, like my favorite Green Day album is Warning. Me too. And all the songs on there aren't big songs. No, no, no. The only no. one that's on there is time, not Time of Your Life. Uh, fucking what's yeah, the Time of Your Life? What's the? That's no, that's. What fucking album is that on? Time of Your Life. No, the. Uh, what's the acoustic Rise. song? Is that one? There's an acoustic song on that one that's overplayed. Uh, not Macy's Day Parade. No, that's, that's not really. I can't remember. I can't remember all the songs of that album. God damn! I was close. It's the final it's chunk. I was fucked it up. Dude, you're so close. Look at me running behind you. Like, <laughs> you're like wait, wait up! <laughs> I'll, I'll get there in a minute. That was me and you who had work this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wait up! Is your boss running when you're late too, or like nope. mine does? Well, mine did once, but I haven't been late since. <laughs> Except for almost being late every day. Um, but there are a lot of really underrated songs from a lot of artists because, quite frankly, the stuff that makes their music good isn't what makes it. I also music. don't like Dookie. I think Dookie's a shitty album. Uh, a lot of the that that has a uh, uh, fast pace, right? Yeah, I like the style of uh, of Nimrod and uh, Warning. and Warning. That which style is, weird. is my favorite type of Green Day. Which is sound. weird because they're wildly different albums, right? Yeah, they're not. I'm gone we're gonna already. Be we're gonna be um, they're wildly different in sound. They're not the same at all. Mm -hmm. But they're just good Green Day albums. It's going away. Um, and I, lo I love Green Day, but I'll, I won't be the first person to admit this. See, to me, what makes music relevant for an artist is when they're singing about stuff that makes importance to their life. Yeah. So when they're not singing about that stuff anymore, or when they are, and it doesn't make any sense, it's like, but you're you're not. You know, one of like right, one yeah. of the songs on uh, on uh, on Nimrod is "King for a Day," which is basically a song about being bisexual or transgender, right? Like, not being afraid of like what people are gonna say when you tell them you're gay or you you know what if you like a certain thing. That's kind of what that song's about. And, and Billy Joe's, you know, Armstrong singing about being gay today means nothing because he's out. He's done it. There's no more struggle for him. He's not struggling anymore. Is he bisexual? At least bisexual for oh, okay. sure. But you know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff. I don't like when artists sing about plights that don't apply to them. That, that, that just, yeah. They're, they're Billy Talent even... singing about a revolution. Like, what do you do to prevent a revolution or to help the world? You're not doing anything. I'm living on the edge of a revolution. <laughs> like, I don't know. That just drives me nuts. And, and perhaps it's hypocritical because I don't do those things either. And I can enjoy that music. I don't know. I'm... Sometimes you like bands that don't really have, like... I died. <laughs> me too. I died. I died. <laughs> we're not quitting on this fucking... No, we're good. We're beating this thing. We, this okay. is the last try. We got this. Um, I'm really... I really like Shock and Fury. I'm really... I've listened to the same album probably 15 times at this point. When you like an album, man, you like an album. There's nothing, there's I think no it shit. doesn't get boring for me for some reason. A lot of albums I overplay and I get so fucking sick of it. I can still listen to this album like one, every day. One band that I can listen to nonstop every day, and I do, is The Smiths. I really Smiths love... Smiths are a good band. I, I actually... Th I didn't think I was going to like them until you gave me one of their albums. I'm like, I love their sound. They yeah. have such a really good sound. They really do. It's soft. It's melodic. I really thought The Smiths were an older band because of their like, album covers. Yeah, that, that like the old gentleman on the front. Yeah, it just makes you think of like that's him though. That's him. It's crazy, but yeah, they're they're a fantastic. Band. And I and I I just like music that I don't I, know. I, I find with like Shotgun Jimmy, it's like everyday person kind of music. It's not like a struggle or anything. It's just normal <laughs> shit. Doing your fucking laundry. There's like human music. Human music. <laughs> <laughs> I love this human music. Ooh, that's catchy. <laughs> oh, I thought it was you there for a second. 
I always think I'm mean. Oh. Some people at the mall think we're different and we're the same. Little do they know, we're the same person. Ah, we're good. I fucking bullshit. I call bullshit on that dog. I think of another album that's like I listen to all the time every day. Um, I think one of the biggest bands that I think is just really funny that we have such differences on is Mac DeMarco. Oh, big time. I can't stand it. I don't... I find and it... Don't get me wrong, I must say Mac DeMarco's like the fucking pin. It's just at this point... God damn it, whatever. At this point, it's like liking Mac DeMarco is like liking an unpopular thing that's already popular. You know what I mean? Like, it's like he's... He's popular now. Like he's So he's, now it's not cool to like him? Exactly. And I don't feel like a fucking poser because I like Mac DeMarco. It's not like, oh, I feel like... I can't... I don't even understand how he has a fan base. I find it's fucking so disgustingly annoying. It's creepy. It's It sounds like pedophile music. It is. Really, it's just fucking unnerving. It makes me, it, it kind of makes me feel gross when I listen to it. It's like, mommy's in the kitchen. It's like really like provocative in a way that I don't want to be. It's kind of like horror film music actually. Like when you're trying to think of like. It's kind of just fucking gross. It's just like, like there's horror film music and there's music that just makes you feel like you're in a horror movie. <laughs> there's, there's, and what I like about like how we listen to music, like you and I particularly, is that we both listen to very different things in a, in a song, right? Like. Oh yeah. You're, like I, I, I'm, I, I can deal with like really catchiness, but then I also like if the person's got a point to a song, I really like it that much more. If it means something. Yeah, right? exactly. Like but listening also, to uh, Rise Against when it first came out, it was like, yeah, man, this man. guy was like, they're fucking. Now it's just like they don't talk about anything relevant, so their music's just not important. Like their music was like. Uh, Prayer of a Refugee and shit like that. That oh, was, that was massive. fucking sick. And it was like, it was, had significant importance to it when it came out. I died. And like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you I sorry? died too. I killed. <laughs> suicide pack. <laughs> you weren't gonna do it. Ah <laughs> uh ah. -uh. Tricker, tricker Rooney. God damn it. Fuck, we got this. We got this. This has gotta be the one. <laughs> it's not. Just cause you got it, don't count me out. <laughs> God damn it, I got hit too. Do you jump in the air and scoot at the same time? Yeah. Jump and then, you gotta jump and then scoot. Here, what we'll do, we'll retry. That, that's the key to it, gotta jump and scoot. Yeah, like, honestly, you know what, I, I, sometimes I listen to albums, I'm like, why is this album bigger, you know? You don't hear anything of it. Yeah. And that that's kind of sad. That's the sad thing about a musician, right? Because an album can come and go. Like that's Exactly. Just, you it's know, like, I don't find, like, um, I don't find blink Wayne Two's new albums getting any, like, any I don't hear anything, and it's one of the best albums I've heard in a long They're time. They're not relevant, and that's their problem. I know. I, mean, I just I, love that style of music still. Yeah. That, like, kind of, like, uptune punk, like, punk rock. Skater punk, right? Yeah. Like, I love skater punk. I was listening to, like, like, I kind of want you to listen to Sum 41's new album, because it's good, man. Like, yeah. the first half's like, eh? But it's weird, because, like, I find that the, their good stuff's on the, <laughs> on, the, on the second half of the CD, which is, like, never the case, right? You don't put the good stuff at the end. Usually lead with the self-titled album, like the self-titled track of the album, and then like yeah, and then it's like kind of like, and then it kind of it's like anything it winds down, like it gets like they put their shit. You want to make it like a sandwich, right? You want to put the good stuff at the beginning and the end, because people don't remember the beginning, the middle stuff. Yeah, and that's just what we listen to, and we, we intake media. The important stuff's always in the beginning and the end. True, but uh, the yeah, the last like six songs are fucking solid. Like I'm just like man, these are fucking. But I like skater, I like skater music. How the fuck did I die? The, tr the little troll here. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Alright, we'll call it here. That's, that's yeah. it. We, 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 we put it. in the time. Fuck, we'll be the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Have Our a great day. Our music fucking festival. Peace.